Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie VO, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel where I give you many different tips and tricks on how to make money online, whether that is transcribing, captioning, doing paid surveys, doing micro jobs, micro tasks, anything that you can do to make money online, I am trying to create a video to teach you how to do it. So a lot of my videos focus on different transcription jobs and also I have a huge playlist of 12 different videos on transcription tools, tips, and tricks to transcribe faster and get more jobs. But a lot of people, this is the playlist right here which you can find on my videos and I will also link you to this playlist in the description below. But a lot of people say, this is so, so many different tools here. What do I do? How do I use these tools together? What is the process from start to finish transcribing a file once you get a job for a company like Scribby or Transcribe Me or Rev or QA World? And I am going to walk you through the quickest way to use four of these tools now, this is going to be a quick demonstration. I'm not going to show you how to download each of these tools because I want this to be a quick video. But if you want more help on each of these different steps, then I want you to go to this playlist, look in the description below, and I will link you to individual videos for extra help on how to install these different plugins or extensions. And all of the tools I am going to show you that I'm going to use here are free. So you do not have to pay a penny for any of the tools I'm going to show you, okay? So let's get started. Step number one, we are going to download on Chrome Audio Downloader Prime. This is an extension from the Chrome Web Store. I already have it installed. You can see this one right here. It says no audios found. And what we are going to do with this is we are going to download an audio that we are going to transcribe. So let's say you just got a job with Scribby and you want to use some of these methods with Scribby. Okay, I'm gonna quickly take a job just to show you how to do it. Let's say I want to take this job here. And now let's say I've been assigned this file and I want to download this file so it'll be easier for me to transcribe. I can click here and it says one audio found and it's down, it has the Scribby transcription assignment file that I can download as an MP3. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the download icon. And you can see right here that it has now downloaded this file as an MP3 in my downloads folder. Okay, so that is step one. Now we have our transcription file and we are ready to clean up the audio. That is step two. Okay, for step two, I also have a video on how to clean up background noise. Let's say I just got this file from Scribby and there's a lot of fan noises or background noise. The audio is really quiet and I cannot hear what they're saying and I want to clean up the audio and maybe even slow down the audio so I can understand it. What we're going to do is you'll download Audacity. This is a free program. Again, I have a tutorial showing you the details of how to do it. You can download it for Windows or for Mac. Okay, so all you have to do is open up this program. We'll go to File, Open, and you're going to open the file, and all you have to do is click on the file that you just downloaded. Okay, so this is what the file looks like. You can see all of these different sound waves. So what you wanna do is you first want to remove the background noise. You can click on this Zoom tool here, we're gonna zoom up. You can see how small these waves are too. We're gonna to make want to make this a lot um, louder so you can understand some of these parts that's quiet. Now because of privacy reasons, I can't actually play this file for you, so I have done my own sample of bad audio that I recorded myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Again, file, open. Okay, so this is the audio file that I recorded for you and with poor audio so you can see what we will do in order to improve this audio. I'm gonna press play on this so you can hear the audio quality before and after we do our edits. Hi, I'm calling because I would like to speak with a representative about my internet. I'm having some issues. Okay, so I intentionally recorded this beside a fan to show you how we can edit this out. What you wanna do is 
take your mouse and just click on a section. So you're going to find a section with the background noise. So don't click a section where someone's talking. Click a section, even if it's just a small section, where you just hear the annoying background noise you want to remove through the entire clip. So we'll go like this, then go to Effect, then click Noise Reduction, then click Get Noise Profile. Okay, now click Off, and we want to click this entire track. So we're going to, on our keyboard, the easiest way to do this is go Control plus A and see how it has highlighted the entire clip. That's Control plus A. You can also go select all to select the track. Then back to effect, noise reduction, and just click OK. And as you can see, see how that's cut all this messy noise? If I go undo, you can see how it, all this noise has just been erased. We still hear a little bit, so we can do it again. Effect, noise reduction, get noise profile. Control A to select all, effect, noise reduction, okay. All right, good. Now we want to increase the volume of this clip. Again, Control A, effect, amplify. We're gonna amplify, we're gonna make it go to minus three. So we're gonna amplify it by nine dB. Okay, maybe you want this to go slower because I'm talking kind of fast or the person's talking fast. We can go control A again, again, effect, change tempo. We can change it down if we want to make it go slower. It's a bit slow for me. So let's say we want to go to minus 17, click OK. And now let's try what that sounds like. Hi, I'm calling because I would like to speak with a representative about my internet. I'm having some issues. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with that file. I'm going to save it as an MP3. File, export, export as MP3. I'm going to go audio sample one edited, save. Click OK, and now we have this file saved for our next step. Okay, so now that we have our audio file ready to listen and transcribe, what we're going to do is open up a blank document in Google Docs, and we are going to use one of two different methods. Go to Tools. Now make sure that this is opened up in Chrome, and then you can go to Tools and click on Voice Typing. Then here, you're going to click on the language that you're going to be speaking. So we'll put English US and you just have to click this microphone to speak. So what I want you to do is email yourself that file on your phone and then plug in some headphones or earphones and you're going to listen to the file on your phone and then repeat what you are hearing into Google Docs. This is one of two different methods that we're going to use. So I'm going to listen to one of the sentences and then say it into Google Docs and Google Docs will type it so I can save time and don't have to type it myself. Hi, I'm calling because I would like to speak with a representative about my internet. I'm having some issues. I ordered internet with your company about two months ago. And since then, I have had so many issues with the internet. Okay, so we can just click off that button here when we are done. Now, this is what I have just done by repeating what I've heard the audio clip say. And now the other thing we can do, and this won't always work, it will depend on how clear the voice is. But if we just do what we did in Audacity and improved the audio quality by removing background noise and increasing the volume and slowing it down, it might work. So we're going to do a sample with the same text. And what you're going to do is you have it on your phone and you're going to plug out your, take out your earphones and put the volume on maximum. And we're going to play it as we record it because there is a way to upload an audio file and transcribe it 
automatically for you with otter.ai, but that's a paid service. And before it was free up to 600 minutes per month, and now they've changed it. So you could only do three, it do it three times before you have to pay. So this is another option for you. I'm going to press record, and then I'm going to quickly press play, holding my phone up to the microphone on my computer and see if it understands what I'm saying. So I'm going to click on the microphone and then click play on my phone playing the audio clip and let's see how it works. Hi, I'm calling because I would like to speak with a representative about my internet. I'm having some issues. I ordered internet with your company about two months ago and since then I have had so many issues with the internet. Yeah, nothing's been working. It's been a struggle to even get a couple bars of service. Do you think you could send a technician out or someone to have a look at the problem? Because I work from home and this is... Okay, so as you can see, it has done a pretty good job of transcribing automatically what the text says. Of course, there's some weird things in like Sunsplash that I never said. But more or less, you can see it has done a really good, great job both ways. So it really just depends on what you prefer. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to go through and edit it. So I'm going to just stick with editing this first one um, because this is the one that I said myself. So the fourth step to doing this is we want to do a grammar and spell checker. Now you can see here, this little LT thing keeps popping up and there's an icon here. And what this is, is the grammar and spell checker language tool. And it is a free Chrome extension. And once you add it to Chrome, when you open up Google docs, it will be automatically uh, installed here. And this is an excellent little tool to check your grammar and your spelling. So, as you can see here, we'll click, that should be capital. Hi, I'm calling because I would like to speak with a representative about my internet. We're gonna put a period here because they haven't suggested that. If I click here, they're showing me some more errors. Here they put cause um, on this one down here, we would just click because, and that's gonna change it. Sunsplash shouldn't be there. This was, uh, do you think you could send a technician out and they put it as, thank you for Sunsplash admission, which is very strange, but everything else they did a good job. I'm just going to erase this because we're focusing on just this first one here. Okay, they're telling me that there's two more writing issues, um, but they want me to get language tool premium in order to see those, so forget that. We're not gonna worry about that. Usually it does a really good job if there's lots of little spelling errors, but there are no spelling errors here. We can also click on tools, spelling and grammar, spelling and grammar check. It says document looks good. So let's just go through it manually. Hi, I'm calling because I would like to speak with a representative about my internet, period. I'm having some issues. I ordered internet. Now you see it's underlined. If you right click, they will give you suggestions. Um, obviously we are transcribing what the person said, so we can't be changing around what they, what they said. So I ordered internet with your company about two months ago. Now here, this will depend on the style guide. If you are with one company, maybe the company prefers you to put the number. I know for most transcription companies, if it's under 10, they want you to spell it out. So that would be something you have to pay attention to. So I would change that to two months ago. And since then, I have had so many issues with the internet. I'm going to put a period there and go, yeah, nothing's been working, period. It's been a struggle to even get a couple bars of service, period. Do you think you could send a technician out or someone to have a look at the problem? Because I work from home. Now I'm gonna put a dot, dot, dot because I cut myself off. I did say more in my message. Okay, so again, some of these things will depend on the company that you're transcribing for. 
For example, some companies might not want you to put a dot, dot, dot. They might want you to put something like this, two dashes. Um, I'm just going to do the dot, dot, dot as an example. Another thing I put here, yeah, spelled Y-E-A-H. Some people, you know, companies might want it spelled Y-A. So that will just depend on the style guide. But basically, this would be a perfect little transcription. And then what you would do is you can highlight it and you can go edit, copy, or you can just put control C to copy and then you can go to wherever you want to paste it for. To maybe that's you want to paste it into Scribby, maybe you want to paste it into QA World or whatever platform you're transcribing for, or maybe you get paid to do freelance transcription for someone. So you're just going to transcribe it into Microsoft Word. You would just put Control plus V and copy that. And if you were doing something like Rev, uh, where or where you have to put it in line by line, then maybe you would just you know copy one line. Control C and then Control V, and then do that for each caption group, depending on what you have to do. I know that this might seem like a lot of work, but I have been doing it slowly to kind of show you how to do it. And normally, this process, once you get used to all of the different programs, it's a very quick four step process. Step one, download the audio. Step two, clean up the audio in Audacity. Step three, voice to text or pressing play on your phone and having you, the software do it automatically. And then step four is spell check and editing your own work. The only real thing that you need to do that's the most difficult is punctuation. And that is just adding in your own commas and quotation marks and proper punctuation and spelling. And a tool like Language Tool will help you with the spelling, but sometimes with the punctuation, you will need to do it manually. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube English teaching channel, Sparkle English, where I have videos on how to use commas, how to use apostrophes, and I am will be releasing soon videos on using quotation marks and hyphens or dashes and periods and question marks and all of the different English writing essentials that you will need to know when you are transcribing. So make sure to check out my full playlist on transcription tools and tricks, but I just wanted to show you this quick four-step process of how to transcribe a file from start to finish. And if you can master and learn these four tricks and get really good and really fast at them, it will cut down your transcription time in half uh, or even more, depending on how efficient you are. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please click like, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And thank you once again for watching.